Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Commander's Crypt. I absolutely make love making these videos. As you know, I love playing Commander. And if you are subscribed, if you're watching now, you are my friend. Today, we're going to talk about the Painbow Precon. Um, we're going to see how this goes. I was kind of looking at the deck list of this and uh we're yeah so we're gonna we're gonna look at it and uh, see how we feel about it so it uh painbow it's the uh latest pre-con that has come out with jared carthalian he's warburg white blue black red and green he makes guys that can defend him which is good plus one create a three three cavu creature token with trample that's all colors Negative three, choose up to two target creatures. For each of them, put a number of one number one counters on it equal to the number of colors it is. That's actually pretty good, but it really saps his loyalty counters. The negative six, return target multicolored card from your graveyard to your hand. If that card was all colors, draw a card and create two treasure tokens. Okay. That ultimate is very underwhelming. You would think that if you were going to pay Werborg for a Planeswalker, that you would have this amazing ult, but you don't. Uh, this says also includes Collector Booster Sample Pack. Okay, Legendary, two traditional foils. Okay, so we're going to get on into it and see what we get. I absolutely love cracking boxes and packs for you guys. And so that's what we're going to do today. All right, so let's see. Let's let's get on with the show here. All right, I love cracking boxes, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I wish they would make this a card. These used to be cards. Uh, you know, they quit doing that. I uh, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep asking wizards to do it again until they finally do it. I guess. Um, so, yeah, thanks for b being with us here today. Um, so let's get right into it. And I kind of need like a van of white here to help me with opening boxes and the cards and all that stuff. Okay, so let's get right in there. All right. Jared Carthalian seems to be a, a decent guy. All right. Snip this open. See what we got as far as the booster pack. Okay. And we got a Voldalian Mudslinger. Kicker. Enters the battlefield with two counters on it for each time it was kicked. Okay. So, ooh, he, ooh. So he's uh, he's three for so for six he could be a six six. When he enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature with power less than him, for as long as you control the mud slinger. Okay. All right. And then we've got a Rona. Shouldred's Faithful, two black and blue, and one whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, each opponent loses one life. You may cast Rona from your graveyard by discarding two cards in addition to paying its other costs. Okay. All right. Seems, seems okay. Jared Carthalian. So, as I was looking at this pre-con, I liked that it was Werborg, but I was not uh, very... Over, uh, overwhelmed with amazingness. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I'll show you. So, yeah. So, you know, I, as I was looking at the uh, this deck, I was just like, this deck just doesn't seem to have any direction, which which I will show you. It's just, you know, I mean, of course, you've always got creature beats or whatever, but, you know, I didn't see a whole lot of... Uh, of syn synergy with the cards 
Um, you know, I just, well, well so we'll see. Well, you, you'll see what I mean here. Um, I, 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 I'm just kind of underwhelmed with this pre-con. So, uh, but we'll go through it. Jensen Carthalian, Druid Exile. One white and green whenever you cast a multicolored spell. Scry one if that spell was all colors. Create a 4-4 white angel creature token with, all fly with flying and vigilance. Five, tap it, add Werborg. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, that could be good. It's going to be kind of difficult, but we'll see. Bad River. Now, one thing that I've heard about this deck is the mana base is very good for the Werborg. So here you go right away. Um, all right. So you can search for something. Ebzan Charm, choose one, exile target creature with power three or greater. You draw two cards and you lose two life and distribute two one one counters among one or two other creatures. Okay, that's pretty decent. And that's the thing. This thing is Warborg, so that's that's its strength. You could go in many directions with this. The the precon is just kind of meh, and I'm gonna show that to you, but with this mana base, there's a lot of ways you can go with it. You could, if for some reason you bought this and you had it, you could, you know, with the mana base, which I heard was very good, and I'll show it to you, you could then uh, do a multi-combo uh, deck. You could have all the combos in here because you've got all the colors. And because you've got all the colors, you could have the, the absolute strongest cards that are in each color, which I will discuss. So Arcane uh, Sanctum is in there to help fix your mana base. Beast Within, one of the best cards in Magic, Crumbling Necropolis, Explosive Vegetation. Yeah, you're going to need that in order to uh, be able to, you know, ramp and, you know, fix your mana, you know, yada, yada, yada. So there you go. Explosive Vegetation, Felwar Stone, that's going to be good. Flood Plain, again, Mana Base. Usually I don't go through the, the Mana Bases in these decks because usually it's just one or two or three colors. But because it's Werborg and uh, there's been a lot of good things said about the Mana Base, we're going to go through it. Frontier Bivouac. Okay, so we got a lot of cheap tricycle lands in there. Fusion Elemental. Okay, so now we're talking. Werborg, boom, you get an 8-8. Eight, eight. I mean, but, uh, you know, if, if it's going to be Werborg, if you're going to go through all of this hassle to, you know, get Werborg, this this guy, ought to, there ought to be more to this guy. Uh, trample, maybe, you know? Uh, and that's another thing, too. It's, it's all colored, so why doesn't it get uh, an ability of each color vigilance for white flying for blue you know death touch for green you know uh, tr uh, trample for green uh, fire breathing for red you know just kind of meh and i kind of wish that the commander jared carthalian you know would help you you know fix to get these things out or whatever he He's just kind of a, a blah commander. All right, let's get back into it. So what else we got here? Grasslands. Uh, I, I've talked about these cards from Mirage. Very cheap cards that allow you to fetch. They come into play tapped, which stinks. But there are some things in this deck that allow you to put lands out untapped that should be uh, that should come into play tapped and I, I did like that I thought that that was very very slick for this deck because you're gonna this is gonna happen a lot jungle shrine cross and verge sack it search your library forest forest and a plains card okay migration path get you two basic land cards okay mountain valley Mystic Monastery, Tricycle Land, Naya Charm, deals three damage to target creature, return target card from a graveyard to its owner's hand, tap all creature target player controls. That's actually pretty good. Like in that charm, no bad outpost, another Tricycle Land, Opulent Palance, another one. Okay, now 
looks like we're going to kind of get into the regular cards path to exile instant exile target creature its controller may search their library for a basic land card put that onto the battlefield tap then shuffle yeah so you could actually do that to yourself again to help you mana fix you could exile one of your one one uh dummy tokens and help mana fix yourself if you needed to do that path to the world tree one blue oh blue that's green one green one green and one it's early one green and one enchantment when path to the world tree enters the battlefield search your library for a base clan card reveal put in your hand then shuffle okay that's pretty good and then Warborg in two sack it you gain two life draw two cards target opponent loses two life and world tree deals tam two damage up to one target creature you create a 2-2 two, two green bear creature token. Very underwhelming. Uh, you know, I guess it's cool that it gets you a land and helps you mana fix, but then it, you know, uh, again, you, Werborg and Seven, and that's the underwhelming stuff you get. Rocky Tar Pit, Sand Step Citadel, Savage Lands, Seaside Citadel, Sultai Charm, choose one destroy target mono colored creature. That's awesome. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Just draw two cards, then discard a card. Okay. Sylvan Reclamation, one white, green, and three. Exile up to two artifact, target artifacts or and or enchantments. That's pretty awesome because it's also an instant and it has basic land cycling. Again, helps you fix your mana. Trans Guild Courier. Uh, he is all colors for four colorless. He gets, uh, he's a 3-3. Three, three. Two-headed Hellkite. Everybody knows I love dragons. Uh, Werborg in one, Flying Menace Haste. Whenever he attacks, draw two cards. Okay, so he's awesome. Now we're talking here. You know, if you got to you jump through hoops to get this Warborg stuff, you should have some very good benefits from your cards and creatures when you do that. Tiller Engine, two colorless whenever land enters the battlefield, tapped under control, control, choose one. Untap that land. Tap target non-land permanent and opponent controls. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty decent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that untap the land thingy. If you got a way of putting another land in, which you do in this deck, you can untap your tricycle lands, etc. Now we've got Werborg in two. Instant, choose five. You may choose the same mode more than once. Target permanent phases out. Target player draws a card. Exile target player's graveyard. Unite the coalition deals two damage to any target. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Okay. All right. I guess that's actually pretty strong. You can destroy five artifacts or enchantments. I, yeah, I think that's that's pretty strong. Draw five cards. You know, again, if that was just Werborg, that'd be a, a much stronger card. Falaji Wayfarer, one green and two. She is all colors. This ability doesn't affect its color identity. Multicolored spells you cast have convoke. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. I'm digging that. All right. Third turn, second turn, you play her. And now you can convoke your spells in. I, I like that. I dig it. I dig it. Iridian Maelstrom. Werborg. Destroy each creature that isn't all colors. Okay. All right. I, I wonder if that includes, when it says all colors, if... I don't think it does when you have Warborg in the text box. Mana Cannons. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, Mana Cannon uh, deals X damage to any target where X is the number of colors that spell is. Wow. That's... I'm actually kind of digging that. So for your five colored spells, you're slinging five points of damage. I like that. I like it. Primeval Spawn, Werborg and five. If Spawn would enter battlefield and it wasn't cast or no mana was spent to cast it, exile it instead. 
He's got Vigilance, Trample, and Lifelink. When he leaves the battlefield, exile the top 10 cards your library. You may cast any number of spells with total mana value 10 or less from among them without paying their mana costs. That's awesome. That's an awesome guy. He's a 10-10 for 10. We're Borg in 5. So you guys let me know what you think about this deck if you've played it. The casting cost on this guy is just so ridiculous. And, and, you, and they don't, they, they want you, you, you must cast it. Obsidian Ob Obelisk, two colorless, enters the battlefield tapped. Add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a multicolored spell. Okay. All right. Archelos Lagoon Mystic, that's one of the things I was telling you about that uh, untaps things as long as he is, he is tapped, other permanents enter the battlefield tap, which is awesome. So when you so when you attack with him and he's tapped, everybody else's stuff now comes to play tapped all ar around the whole table. As long as he's untapped, other permanents enter the battlefield tapped. Wow, that guy's actually pretty strong. I like that. So your your stuff's going to come in untapped. Everybody else's stuff's going to be tapped. Baleful Strix, very good card. Flying Death Touch, when enters battlefield, draw a card. Canopy Vista. Cascading Cataracts, Indestructibra, allows you to fix your mana for five. You can then get the Werborg. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cinder Glade, Coalition Relic, Crystal Quarry, Dune Blast, very good card. Choose up to one creature, destroy the rest. Okay. Exotic Orchard, Fae Burrow Elder, one white, one green, and one vidge. He gets plus one for each color among permanents you control. Okay. So for three mana, you can get a 5-5. Five, five, then tap them for each color among permanents you control. Add one mana of that color. Okay. Now, now we're talking. Hero of Precinct 1. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Man, if... If, if only they flew. Gosh. All right. Knight of New Alara. White and green. Each other multicolored creature you control gets plus one for each of its colors. Okay. That's strong. That's strong. All right. So we so we got some creature beats. Uh, that That's all I'm seeing that's happening with this deck. Lavalanche. It is Jund and X. Deals X damage to E target player or planeswalker and each creature that player or that planeswalker controller controls. Okay. All right. Merciless Eviction. Awesome. Black, white, and four. Choose one. Exile all artifacts. Exile all creatures. Exile all enchantments. Exile all permanents. Very strong card, actually. Very, very strong. I've had somebody actually cast this on me when I, with my Atraxa deck when I had a bunch of planeswalkers out. So it's a very utilitarian. Very good card. Murmuring Bosk, very good card for back in the day. Painful Truce. Now, again, if I'm going too fast, you know, just uh, if, if you haven't seen some of these cards, just hit the pause button. Black and two, converge. You draw X cards and you lose X life where X is the number of colors of mana spent to cast a spell. Okay, there's better cards out there for that. Prairie Stream. Radiant Flames. One red and two converge. It deals X damage to each creature where X is the number of colors of mana spent to cast this spell. Okay. Better cards out there. So Vala, she's strong. You know, I never realized how strong she was until other guys played her. And I was like, holy crap, she's amazing. Uh, one white, one green, and one. It, she's another girlfriend of mine, by the way. We've been kicking it lately. Yeah, she didn't want me to tell anybody, but sorry that it, the cat's out of the bag. Parlay, tap it. Each player reveals the top card of their library for each non-land card reveal this way. Add green and you gain one life. Then player draws a card. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, she's very super strong. Smoldering Marsh. Solemn Simulacrum. People seem to love this guy. You know, I've never been a big Simulacrum fan. Saw a Sunken Hollow, 
Time wipe. One white, two uh, white. One blue, two white, and two. Return a creature you control to its owner's hand and then destroy all creatures. That's, that's pretty decent. I like that. Glint Eye Nephilim. He's got... Uh, He's got everything but white. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, draw that many cards. That's sweet. One discard card. Glint Eye Nephilim gets plus one, plus one till his turn. Again, just kind of a random add to this deck. There's no graveyard strategy. You know, they never went with any direction in this deck. You know, I'll 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 leave my opinion for the end of the video. But okay, so he gets bigger. Until end of turn, if you discard cards, which is <laughs> okay, I guess. This this deck just has no direction. It's 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 just amazing to me. Atla Palani Nest Tender, White Naya Naya and One. Now we're talking two Tapper. Create a zero one green egg creature token with Defender. Whenever an egg you control dies, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Put that card on the bottom field and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, so now we're talking. This is going to help you get these big old creatures out. And as a matter of fact, I mean, I, I would almost go with this commander. Way better. Maelstrom Nexus, Werborb, the first spell you cast each turn has Cascade. Now that's pretty strong. You know, why, why not go with a Cascade strategy? Why, why not go with something? Chromanticore, Werborg, 4-4 four, four with Bestow, Werborg in two. If you cast this card for its Bestow cost, it's an aura spell with Enchant Creature. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached to a creature. Flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, lifelink. Enchanted creature gets plus four and has flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, and lifelink. Okay. So for Werborg and an extra two, you can give a creature plus four, plus four, and all those awesome abilities. Okay. Okagachi, Vengeful Kami. This is Sensei Chris's favorite card. It's so hilarious. Werborg and one. 6-6 six, six Flyer, Legendary Creature, Dragon Spirit, Flying Trample. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, if that player attacks you during their last turn, exile target, non-land permanent, that player controls. That's decent. So for 6 mana, you get a 6-6 six, six Flying Trampler guy that now is going to potentially keep people from attacking you because then you'll start exiling their best stuff. Especially if you put double strike on this thing or something like that so i'd like to give a, a shout out to sensei chris there at the dojo this is his absolute favorite card which is hilarious to me zaxara the exemplary uh blue green black and one death touch two three add two mana of any one color whenever you cast a spell with x and its mana cost create a zero zero green hydra creature token then put X counters on it. Okay. Another random thing. Aluna, Apex of Apex of Witches. <clears throat> Green, blue, red. Beast Elemental Dinosaur. Mutate. Blue, blue, red, green, hybrid, and three. Flying trample. Whenever this creature mutates, exile all cards from the top of your library to exile non-line permit. Put that card on the battlefield or into your hand. Okay. That's Dees. All right. Maelstrom Archangel. You know, so, so you know, with, with this deck, it just doesn't have, seem to have a direction. So you, you could give it a direction. You could go with Idris, you know, go cascading, graveyard stuff. This deck kind of leads you in potentially many directions. Werborg, 5-5, five, five, flying whenever this Maelstrom Archangel deals combat damage to a player. You may cast a spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. Okay, that's tease. I like that. Nethroi, Apex of Death. Green, black, white, and two. Legendary creature, cat, nightmare, beast, mutate, two black. White, green, and four. 
If you cast a spell for its mutate cost, put it over or under target non-human creature you own. They mutate into the creature on top, plus all abilities from under it. Death, touch, lifelink, 5-5. Five, five. Whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power, 10 or less, from your graveyard to the battlefield. Decent. Decent. Okay, graveyard. Rien, Angel of Rebirth, 5-4 Flyer, Naya and 2 Flying. Other multicolored creatures you control get plus 1 and 0. Oh. Whenever another multicolored creature control dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Strong. All right. I like that. Sorak, Dragon Claw, Red, Blue, Green, and 2. Flash, this spell can't be countered. Creature spells you control can't be countered. Other creatures you control have trample. Decent, yeah. Six, six for five. Very nice. Zyrus, the writhing storm. Red, blue, green, and two flying. Whenever an opponent draws a card, except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, create a one, one green snake creature token. Whenever Zyrus the Writhing Storm deals combat damage to a player, you and that player each draw that many cards. Okay. All right. You put that enchantment on this guy earlier, he'll be a 7-9 with all kinds of neat abilities. So I guess that's what it's doing here. It's kind of a Voltron-y thing. You can't Voltron your commander, which is also another ridiculous thing. Ab abundant growth. Enchant land, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. It has add one mana of any color. Okay. So it's it's kind of got a smattering of Voltron, kind of got a smattering of Cascade, kind of got a smattering of some graveyard stuff. You know, it, you see what I'm talking about here with this deck. It's just kind of just kind of rando. Uh, instead of painbow, they should have called this rando rainbow. Coiling Oracle. Blue and green. When enters the battlefield, reveal a top card in your library. If it's a land card, put it on the battlefield. Otherwise, put that card in your hand. Very, very good. Command tower. Cultivate for ramping. Evolving wilds. Echoing truth. Return target non-land permanent and all other permits with the same name as that permit to their owner's hands. This is actually a very strong card, especially in Commander, because everybody plays so many token strategies. Evolving Wilds, Explore, Far Seek, Commander Sphere, Growth Spiral, Draw a Card. You may put a, a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Okay. Kadama's Reach. Terminate, good card. Prophetic Prism, Winner's Battlefield, draw a card. One, tap it, add one mana of any color. Search for tomorrow, green and two. Search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. Suspend two, green. Rather than cast this card from your hand, you may pay green and exile it with two. Time counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter. When the last is removed, cast it without paying its mana cost. Okay. All right. Guess that's good too. Terramorphic Expanse. Forest. Okay, so now we're going to... Yep, that's that's all the uh, basic lands. And now it's got the tokens. It's got a all-color Cavu which was kind of my one of my favorite creatures. Flame Tongue Kavu was super strong back in the day. Played him, I think he was uh, one red and three, so he was easily splashable. He was a 4-2, and when he came into play, he did four damage to a, a target creature. Kavu, okay, so these are the tokens. You got a bunch of Kavu tokens, some human tokens, and some snake tokens. And a Hydra token and some egg tokens. Okay, so we'll go through that and then, then we will be done. We will discuss how we feel about this video. There's all the Cavu tokens. There's the human tokens. Uh, there is the snake tokens. Snake. And then on the back, you've got the Hydra tokens 
egg tokens, more snake tokens. And on the Kav uh, Kavu, you've got angel tokens. Okay, so angel, bear, beast, another angel token. So that's the deck. Let You guys let me know what you think. Uh, now, now, I would like to get into what we can potentially do with this deck. I, I, I felt like this deck was directionless, but it has some strengths to it because of the awesome land base and the ramp base. You could do a lot with this deck. There's You could probably make a super combo deck with this. You could do your pitiless plunder loops, your, you know, you could do loops, you could do all, all kinds of combos in this thing because it's got so much ramp and so uh, the, the mana base is very, very good. Other channels have spoken on that. So that's one potential way you could do with that. Another good thing about this deck is it's five colors. So you could put the strongest colors from spells of each color in the deck. For example, a Luminarch Ascension. You know, may, may, maybe you could go with more of a token strategy with this thing. I would definitely recommend Luminarch Ascension. If any, any, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Any deck that's got white in it should have Lumis, Luminarch Ascension in it. Very, very strong card. But uh, yeah, so there you go. You know, this, this deck seems kind of directionless. I, I'm going to tell you right now, the other pre-cons that came out would totally destroy this deck. Th this deck is very, very weak and slow to me. But you could do maybe a Hermetic Druid combo. There's This thing could be a, a combo deck ready to go or any other fun direction that you wanted to go with it. So, you know, most of the pre-cons from New Capenya would destroy this deck. You know, Will, Te Will Helt would destroy this deck. Party time would would beat this deck. So that's that's my humble opinion. So without further ado, we're going to get on out of here. I hope you enjoyed my video. We're going to do the next Dominaria United pre-con, and then we're going to get into the Warhammer, which I'm more excited about, to be honest with you. So uh, coming from you to you from a very nice, beautiful, cool fall weather day in new orleans this has been the commander script i hope you enjoy your day please like and subscribe